gentlemen. Moving along. To nice crowd. Nice crowd. Oh, there is. You know, I wonder that could possibly affect people's behavior. There are some monumental solar flares now that erupt on the sun, and apparently it can uh, goof up transmissions of uh, telephone conversations and yeah. television transmissions. That yeah, happens every so often. Hasn't affected me at all. <laughs> Tonight we have a, little, a young lady from the Cosby Show, Raven Simone. She's nice. cute. Oh. Yes, she's a doll. Uh, Robert Townsend and John McLaughlin. You ever watch that show? Yes, a lot. Good show. Yeah. Good show, okay. Uh, any of you, of you people here at Bank at Home Savings of America, this is not a plug for home savings. Are you familiar with it? Yeah. Have you noticed anything new there? Home Savings apparently took down all their signs that said teller. There are no more tellers working there. They are now savings consultants. <laughs> so help me. Apparently I didn't think teller was uh, dignified enough. Uh, Bank of America, Citibank no longer have tellers either. They have what they call customer service representatives. Have you heard the radio commercial for people calling themselves collateral lenders? Mm -hmm. That's the new word for pawnbrokers. Oh. Here's some of the other job euphemisms you all know. Now, people who collect garbage or refuse, you know, that's yeah. not an easy job. They used to be called garbage men. They're now what? Sanitation. San sanitary yeah. engineers yeah. or sanitation engineers. Stewardesses are now flight attendants. Right. More dignified. Librarians? Not anymore. What is it? They're learning resource attendants. <laughs> Morticians sometimes call themselves grief counselors. <laughs> And a receptionist, which sounds very minor, is now called a corporate greeter. I like that. It's true. We have, uh, we have some more uh, you probably have really? not heard. Um, you have others besides these? What? You have others besides these? God, I hope so. <laughs> so do I. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're going to be a little short. Yeah. All right. People who break up bar fights don't like to be called bouncers anymore. They prefer to be known as airborne doorway transport attendants. <laughs> These are just to give you the general idea of where we're headed with this. In Las Vegas, a man who carries your money away from the dice table is a crap cap. <laughs> All right. Okay, just these. Are, these yeah. Some are high, some are low. Yeah. Some are high, some are low. The guy who shows the garbage trunks where to unload at the landfill is known as the maitre dump. Did you know the Immigration Service has its own term for convenience store clerks? They're called Englishly Challenged Attendants. <laughs> okay, ladies of the evening are no longer prostitutes. What are they called? Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Let's see if that yeah. helps. They're professional dude happiers. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't help. Didn't help. If you look in the water for a job <clears throat> as a McDonald's cook, you'll find it under the heading, Culinary Purveyor of Formerly Saddled Animals. <laughs> oh. Oh, all right, don't write. All right, Just don't, don't write from McDonald's. And don't write from Barstow, either. <laughs> Just a joke. New term for Jehovah's Witnesses, the negatively welcome. Now, you've seen this. It's kind of a demeaning job. You've seen the female mud wrestles? Mm -hmm. Wrestlers? Yes. Women who wrestle in mud find it demeaning to be called that. So they're now going to the name Muck Bunnies. <laughs> I'm editing here as I yep. go along. Could have done some of that this afternoon. That's true. So true. <laughs> Men's room attendants are now referred to as flush ushers. I don't know about that. The man who cleans up after the horses in the Rose Bowl parade is the scooper intendant. This is just, this is kind of just in between, isn't it? Could have been a high. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not in the dumper, but it's just somewhere in between. Oh, let's see. The man who styles a hooker's hair is, is referred to as a primp. <laughs> I don't have many more of these. <laughs> it's 
so we'll do just one more. <laughs> and lastly, if you work for the Enquirer, following a certain celebrity to report his scandalous behavior, your official title is McMahon Hunter. <laughs> no, no, folks, it's a joke. All of these were jokes. Yes, yeah. you look up joke in the dictionary. <laughs> And it will actually say a humorous or a... It'll, it'll... These are jokes. Jokes. See if there's one I passed over. <laughs> Let me think about that one. Yeah. You want to be part of this, right? Trying my best to help you, I'm known as a chief assistant. <laughs> I have one for that, a chief assistant is called a sucker-upper. <laughs> just a little thing, not right. this big. I think I was only up a manhole cover, it's just this, this small. Commercial, Kevin. Yes. yes. Now, here's... Oh, here's a word from aspirin-free bufferin AF. Amen. No, AF. <laughs> AF nighttime. Amen nighttime. It's bufferin. Who cares? <laughs>